I've actually had several dreams about bass drums. <laughs> like really big ones. <laughs> Loud is the sound. <laughs> we we got a new we have a new producer for this album. I think you can hear that yeah, the producer we use now, Hjartan Christiansen. He's um, he's very good with like small smart details um, to like tweak something just a bit that makes that makes it sound better. Usually with our songs he, he doesn't add much stuff. Usually he just takes some some of it away actually yeah. to like to like make it more concentrated. Yeah, and be also because we're kind of more we we are more is more kind of guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he uh, he is a less is more kind of guy. Holding Balnas sound it's made to dance to, to uh, go fucking crazy to, it's meant to, to, to be experienced in a live format. So that's always our thought and, and now too that how can we make that listening um, uh, experience as close to the live ones um, that we can. We had seven days from we went into the studio until we had mixed and mastered the album. That's a cool thing to do, <laughs> uh, but also that that made us like focused us. I guess uh, the biggest eye opener regarding sound in studio this time for me was. Uh, the button, the culture vulture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No vulture culture. Vulture culture. Yeah. yeah. Was this? Uh, was was it called? What? What? It's a thing, but I think it's com compressor. Yeah. Okay. Right. That that was uh, the um, uh, the guy that uh, Nick. mixed Nick. our album. Yeah. yeah. He he's made it. Oh, that sounds fucking super good. Yeah. He just he pressed the button and everything just came clearer. Yeah. I was like the biggest Eminem fan and Snoop Dogg and Dre and I all thought of like that 90s hip hop uh, sort of thing when I was a kid. Uh, still have like 50 Cent and Eminem posters up in my uh, in my room back home. The Matt's record. Yeah, that was really fucking good. awesome. That sounds really good. Sounds chaotic. Sounds really loud. Like aggression with a direction seems has a bit of a tendency to sound controlled, but like the aggression that Matt's plays in and is captured in that production, it's it feels like it hasn't got any direction. It just goes fucking everywhere. Yeah. And that chaotic feeling. Uh, right there, that you you're angry at something, but you're not quite sure what. Um, sounds so fucking good, and it's captured in a brilliant way in that on that re record, I think. What's your favorite drum, <laughs> Nils? Probably the bass drum. The bass drum is yeah. the coolest. Yeah, it's a good drum. It's the biggest one. <laughs> Actually, uh, this is a bit awkward maybe, but uh, I've actually had several dreams about bass drums. <laughs> like really big ones. <laughs> actually, yeah, I had a dream about one that was so big that you could stand inside it. <laughs> and uh, this one guy had a mattress inside it and I slept inside his bass drum. <laughs> Rock and roll musicians and bands need to focus on what we can do that will make rock to become once more like a place where something new happens and not with just recycling old ideas and, and old cliches 
but how can we make the new I the new ideas? How can we make rock as something that people want to take part in? That's all like what we wish to do with our sound, with our energy, and with our concert and stuff is to like to create something new, to not become dad music. Yeah, but we still love the dads. We still love the dads. <laughs> we love the dads out there. 